Hi everyone, today's video is going to be a new product review on a Natasha Denona blush. I picked this up at the makeup show Los Angeles back in March, so two months ago. And I've actually only played with it, I think two times at the most, and it was only the highlighter shade. So her blushes come with two shades. Um, I've done a review on one of her blushes before on my channel, so that will be linked in the description bar below. But her product comes with a highlighter and a blush shade, and the blush shade is usually darker than the highlighter shade. Um, her highlighting shades in her palettes for her blushes, they usually, I think there's probably only two or three shades because they repeat a lot in the palettes. So there's probably like, I think 20 different palettes and there's a different blush shade in like each one of them, but the highlighting shade, I think there's only three to choose from. So I bought this palette because it came with two new shades and I didn't really want to buy a palette that had the highlighter that I already have. So this is the palette that I have right now. And you guys can see that the highlighting shades are a little different in tone from each other. So I'm excited to see how that's going to translate on my skin. I'm going to be applying both of these today on my face. The rest of my makeup is already going to be linked in the description bar if you guys were curious about that. But I have only put bronzer on my cheeks. So I did a light contour and I have no color on my cheeks. So I'm really excited to put this nice rosy plum shade on my cheek. The shade is actually called number 16 Plum, and then the highlighting shade in the palette is number 10 Sheer Nude. The reason that I'm obsessed with these cheek products from Natasha Denona is because it gives you a really like wet sheen look to your skin, and they don't look like very powdery, like how most blushes and highlighters can look on your skin. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is take a brush. The brush that I'm going to be using for this video is my NARS Yashio brush, and I'm going to be wetting this with some MAC Fix Plus, and then I'm going to be applying it on my cheek. I love this brush, especially for blushes that look like this, that are extremely pigmented because it kind of shears out the color onto your cheek and the way that the bristles are cut, kind of like cut into like a dome shape, they kind of just blur out the color and it blends it out effortlessly without any effort. Because other brushes that look like this, it can apply too much of your product and it can be a little more difficult to blend out. So I love using this brush for more pigmented products. Before I get into the review, I want to talk about the little packaging. I've told you guys this before in the last video that I'm obsessed. It just gives me like a 90s Barbie throwback feel with the pink plastic casing on top. And then inside, it comes with a lot of product in this palette. Both items are 0.25 ounces, which is a really lot of product, especially since you're getting two in one for the palette. And then it comes with a really nice ginormous mirror it's just really nice to either apply the product with or you can take this on the go um, because I know some people probably want to reapply their highlight throughout the day. So it's really nice to carry this around and it's just gorgeous. So I'm first going to pick up some product on my NARS Yashio brush and then I will spray my brush with the MAC Fix Plus. So I'm going to try to pick up just a tad of the color because it's so pigmented. Then I'm just going to sprinkle that product off so I don't have too much on my brush. And first for the blush, I'm not going to wet my brush. I'm just going to apply the, br the blush on my cheek and I will be wetting my brush for the highlight so I get more intensity on that. So I'm just going to lightly just sweep it onto my cheek and this brush blends it out with no effort. So there's a really light wash of the color. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit more. And you guys can see that this brush has way more product on. Dust a little bit of that off. I then apply that to my cheek. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the other cheek. I feel like this blush shade is really complimentary to my skin tone because I'm an NC45 from MAC and because I have some pigment to my skin, I'm like, have some tan to my skin, I think that blushes that kind of are like a deeper, rosier color, they're just more natural on my skin as opposed to using like a blush that is very like light in color, like the color of this compact. I feel like a lot of people that are more fair skin tone, they can pull off blushes like that and then it's just it warms up their skin tone more. But if you are a deeper complexion, then using more deeper colors as a blush, it just looks more natural on your skin tone. It's more complimentary. So I like the way that this product looks on my skin, this blush color. I almost think I like it better than the blush color that was in the first palette review that I did. This was in the shade called Sheer Peachy Nude. And like I said, this is more of like a lighter color, so it's probably more complimentary to lighter skin tones. But if you're more tan or you have more pigment to your color, then you probably would like this plum shade in the palette that I'm reviewing right now. 
So like I said, I'm going to be wetting my brush to apply the highlight shade in this palette. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in so you guys can see me applying that product because it's a highlight and everybody likes to glow. Okay, so now that you guys have zoomed up, I really like this blush shade. It's really nice and just subtle on my skin tone. It's not too in your face like I'm wearing blush. It just gives a little bit of nice wash of color to my cheeks. So now I'm gonna go ahead and be applying the highlight shade. And like I said, I have played with it before. You guys can see the little swirl mark in my compact because I was applying it. And of course, when you have a wet brush and you go into your compact, it's gonna leave a little, I guess, mark in your little compact, which you guys can see right there. So when I apply my highlight, I've been reaching for this brush quite a lot. This is a Hakuhoto G5539, which is just basically like a really long tapered brush. Um, I like this one from Hakuhoto because it is natural fibers. It is goat hair, and it's just absolutely just amazing for applying highlight products. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some product first, and then I will spritz my brush. So you can see that that color is crazy pigmented on my brush and I'm gonna go ahead and dust that off of course so that's what it looks like now and I'm gonna go ahead and wet my brush and then I will be applying this to my cheek this is the MAC fix plus one little spritz is enough and now let's get glowing so you guys can see that that's a really nice like subtle wash of it you guys can see the highlight on my cheek but I like to put a lot on, so I'm going to go ahead and increase how much product I put on this brush and then just go ahead and reapply it again. So this time, instead of dusting off all that product, I'm just going to keep it on my brush. You guys can see that's a lot of highlight. You probably don't need that much. And then I'm going to go ahead and wet my brush, and then I will just dust it off the excess. But as you can see, it's still on the brush. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my cheek as well. And you can see, I guess this color is more of like a pinkier highlight because that's what it looks like on my cheek. It's coming off as pink as opposed to like a champagne-y lighter highlight. And when you guys can see that clearly wetting the brush is going to intensify your highlight. So that's what it looks like on this cheek. And there's nothing on this cheek. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this cheek. What do you guys think? That's like intense. I don't know, I just feel like her highlighters, you guys can see, let me get a little closer. Like it just doesn't look like powder to me. It just like, it's blended onto my skin and it looks wet. That's the appearance that it gives your skin as opposed to a highlighter, a different highlighter from any other brand. And those highlighters just look like powder is just sitting on top of your skin. Even after you wet it, because I know that sometimes when I would be applying my other highlighters, I would still wet my brush and I'd apply it. And of course it's going to intensify the strobing like effect on your cheek, but it's still at the end of the day, it looks like powder. And her highlighters, it just like makes your skin just glow from within and it makes it just look dewy and wet, like you don't really have a highlighter on your cheek. So that's why I really like her product. And I'm obsessed. I'm going to put a little bit on my nose. I'm not going to re-wet my brush. I'm just going to just dust that on a little bit. Actually, I'm just going to highlight the whole entire nose. And there you guys go. To finish up my face, I'm just going to spritz on some all-nighter spray from Urban Decay. And so this is the completed quick review on the Natasha Denona blush. I absolutely love this one. I'm so glad that I picked up this shade. I don't, I'm not sure what this palette number is because I know her palettes are numbered. It will be linked in the description bar below. Um, her products are sold at both Beautylish.com and her actual website. I think it's NatashaDenona.com. And I'm just absolutely obsessed. You guys can see the full color payoff on my cheek. The highlight, the blush, I'm I'm living for it. I love this product from Natasha Denona. Definitely pick this palette up if you are of color because I think that this palette, um, both shades, is going to complement your skin tone more than the lighter shade. Anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next one.